welcome back everyone. I am continuing to work on the painting that I started yesterday and something that I like to do when I work a painting to a certain point and I'm starting to like what I see but I'm not exactly sure is I like to rotate the painting and look at it in every direction just to make sure that you sort of like the orientation that it's going, your shapes are all good. So I'm going to take a moment to do that now. This is the way that I began working on the piece. So I want to turn the piece like so and take a moment to look at the piece and see if I like it better this way possibly. Going to rotate it once more. I kind of like this orientation. Then I'm going to rotate it once more. It's good to look at your paintings in different orientations and also to step away from the painting and look at the painting at a distance. And so this is how I started working on the piece. So just for right now I'm going to continue working it in this orientation. And in looking at it and studying it, um, this white shape here, the lighter shape, is sort of distracting my eye, so I am going to change that a bit. It's good to strengthen certain areas, push back other areas, change the general shape of a certain of a certain area. So I tend to like that a little better. I like to emphasize this green just a bit more, so I'm going to come back in with a little more of that color. to make it a little stronger. When you are finishing a painting, sometimes it's very small, very small changes that, that make the difference. this red, pozzoli red color against this green.
Every time you come back to a painting and start changing things, it definitely changes the whole painting. It can become something totally different. You may like it, you may not. But, you know, you have to give yourself the permission to play and just experiment to see what you come up with in a piece of work. Yet your fingers can be a great blending tool to use. Get a very soft blend. reactivate this area so I can do a solvent lift. Just a little bit of this color that was underneath in the beginning to pop back through for a bit of excitement. continually to push push that color back Doing some asymic writing.
a lot of back and forth, a lot of little touches and trying things and if you like it, great, and if not, you remove it or add another layer. Picked up a little green there. Sometimes a bright pop of color really adds something to your pieces. Once again, playing the red off of the green. Now I'm going to flip this piece one more time to see if I like it better and the opposite orientation. And I do like the way this piece is going. So I think that I will stop with this piece and call it call it finished for now. I will probably live with it for a day or two and then make a final decision. Um, thank you for joining me on this piece and the piece that I started before using the transfer I'm going to continue to work on while I'm in the studio today as well. So stay with me for that.